Hello and welcome to the Top Bin 90 show. It's been requested, it's been desired, I've been getting tons of DMs. Bring back the show, bring back the show. I brought it back, but then we had some interruptions with Messi. But we're back again with the... I brought two of my heavy hitters today, Lee from CLTFC Fan TV and Jonathan, who is just a Real Madrid fan. And Chelsea. And Chelsea fan. And Charlotte FC. Hey, <laughs> nice boys, how are you? I'm um, okay. <laughs> why did you sound like that? Well, because you had to call out the Chelsea thing, right? That's why we put them <laughs> over there so it would be out of the way. But there you go. You already ruined it from the start. So, hey, nice. Jonathan, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. Kind of cold, you know, rainy. Yeah. Feels like Southampton. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Can you do it on the <laughs> right in Stoke? Nice. Awesome. So uh, we'll start off with uh, La Liga, you know. I mean, let's go ahead and rip off the, the, the Band-Aid already. I mean, Messi... To PSG is done. He's their player now. Uh, that was probably as a Bar- growing up a Barcelona fan and growing up a Messi fan, it was probably like the hardest thing I've ever seen in terms of football. So it's done and dusted now. And so uh, La Liga began this week and Real Madrid won four one, right? Four one. Four one. They beat Alaves. Barcelona won four two against Real Sociedad. I count no minute ten. Some. People were screaming Messi, then some people were booing and saying Barca, Barca. So, you know, uh, La Liga has started. Any thoughts on La Liga so far? Mm, we didn't get to see too much. I mean, this is the first game. You expect them to win. Um, Real Madrid play okay. Um, some players back, like Bale. Then you have the new ones, like Alaba. There's still yeah. new coach, new chemistry. What is Real Madrid going to do with this center back pairing of Nacho and Militao? Because you've heard my opinions on it. I don't think you'll do much with that. I mean, Jose Lu was giving them trouble. Jose Lu. Yeah. I mean, Jose Lu always gives trouble to Real Madrid. He is his okay, former team. Lee, do you know who Jose Lu is? No. <laughs> exactly. Yes, he does. He, he he saw the game with us, and I told him like five times. He used to play for Real Madrid. <laughs> so if Jose Lu is giving them trouble, imagine them facing no, a Lomondoski just remember a lot of All I remember about when we went out to watch the Real Madrid game was... Oh, look, Modric came from Spurs. Bell came from Spurs. <laughs> so I just cut you off right Kane's there, coming from Spurs. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, that's Citizen Kane. Citizen, Citizen Kane. Citizen, Citizen, Citizen Kane. Kane. Yeah. Nice. I will say, though, right, so I watched the Real Madrid and the Barca game. I'd say Real Madrid looked pretty good. I would say that they, okay. they look solid. Watching a Barca game, though, man, I was a little they got concerned nervous a little bit. about them. Yeah. Well, they bar- almost remind me of Austin playing Houston when Houston went down 10 men and came back and scored two. Yeah. Well, I think here's the, the – this has always been the issue. Now that we don't have Messi, I mean, it's still like Barcelona in the attack is good. You know, we've got Griezmann, we've got Depay, even Braithwaite is scoring. The problem is the back line. But I saw some great, great things from Eric Garcia, made two crucial uh, blocks. I mean, Pique scored, but Pique still, he's going to be a doubt all season. Mm-hmm. But I think that leadership experience that he brings in is good. And so uh, – He scored. Yeah, that's what we'll have to see. We also saw the debut of Nico Gonzalez, who was a uh, defensive midfielder. He came in for Busquets. So, I mean, like, they're trying to incorporate La Masia, so, which is good. But we got to – the thing with La Masia is, like, they have to be Barcelona-type players. Like, they can't just be good players. Like, if you're going to play for Barcelona, you have to be a great player. And I saw some great things from Depay as well. Like, he gave an assist. The play that he did, did leading up to uh, Braithwaite, I think it was his third goal. Right where he passed it to Jordi Alba, and then Jordi Alba passed it in, and he scored. I mean, like, you could tell that, like, uh, Memphis wants to be that talisman for the team, which is which will be good, but to me, Barcelona is always going to be okay. Like, under Koeman, anytime we go down 1-0, the mentality is not there. So that's when I want to really see the team. When we're down 1-0, what's going to happen? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure it'll happen. <laughs> Who's going to step up? It sounds up? like last year all over again. It does. For Barcelona in the back line, mm-hmm. Real Madrid back line. And going back to your question, I think Real Madrid will write it off uh, the whole season with that back line. And it will be a three-man rotation with Alaba, Nacho, and Militao. And I know it was the first game, but we'll see you. Uh, what they can do. I, I have hope, and I know they got criticized because that one mistake they did, the pass back, uh, the penalty, but they should have more chemistry. And you saw them last year in, in Champions League, three games where you know they only were scored once, I believe. And Barcelona, with the new players, 
they, they look good. They, they you saw some flash lit, fl uh, flashes. Yeah. The pie, the pie will probably yeah. be the main guy at Barcelona. You saw uh, that preseason. Griezmann doesn't get talked about enough because I mean he always tracks back. That's one thing that I like. Top top players like do that now, but like when you're talking elite, Messi, Neymar, Ronaldo, they don't do that. They don't. You know, but uh, Griezmann, I saw him track back. I saw him try to play make, and I'm like, okay, this is the the Griezmann that we're gonna need. This is the friends. Griezmann, Griezmann yeah. that I you want to see yeah. the Atletico maybe yeah. he, where he has he's, he he does it in, in France and he used to do it with Cholo because Cholo makes you track back it doesn't matter who you are yeah. it's a 10 men behind the ball and I think even under uh, Koeman wants him to play that free role for uh, for Barca so we'll we'll see exactly what, so what he actually could does could you say he's going to take Messi's spot yeah I mean much. The, the closest thing to him right so I still want to see what they do with Coutinho if they keep Coutinho they, they need to try out both. he's going to Arsenal that'd be great I mean, I, I'm at this point. Free like money, <laughs> um, more, more free caps. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what though? After all this messy mess, yeah. right, has happened, and, and this two-year loan to PSG. Yeah, and then <laughs> off to to Miami, yeah. right? Um, maybe it's the best thing for La Liga. You know, it's make it, it might make the league more competitive. It could make it more where you get instead of just the top two, three teams playing. All of a sudden, you're looking at six, seven teams that can get in there and kind of really... But that would be more because the quality is lower, not because teams rose up. Yeah, but I'm just saying, right, as the... Fair enough, but at some point, that, that league had to kind of level out, right? Yeah. Because it was always a two-horse race uh, up until last year, right? Yeah. And so, you know, maybe it's one of those blessings in disguise things, maybe not so much for you Barca and Messi fans, right? Yeah. But for the league itself... Well, I think if Atletico could be that guy that... That that team that can add that third, uh, yeah, third three horse re, that can consistently race. do it, right? So yeah. So I mean, you know, yeah. if teams can see, if players can see now, hey, if I go to this team and I've got a chance to actually win the league and compete, they'd be more apt to come over. Yeah. You know, instead of just going over to Europe or wherever they end up. I so. see your point on Messi. You know, leaving and now is more competitive as well for Barca. It can be a good thing. Now you'll see Griezmann. Step up, yeah, yeah. He won't be playing as under the shadow of Messi, right? Uh, you, you'll see more of uh, Barcelona playing their style, yeah. not just for Messi, looking for Messi all but the, the time. But the thing though is, like, I still Memphis, Griezmann, all these guys, there's no one I feel like, and I hope they prove me wrong, that's gonna be the decisive guy. Like, but do you in, need in, a decisive guy? Yes, we guy? did. Well, how many Three, decisive I, guys are we there had in the Messi. world right now? When we had Messi, even, even if we're 3 0 down. Or like we in the back of Barcelona fans' minds, like well we've got Messi, so there's always a chance. Now we don't see that. Like I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Memphis becomes that guy or Griezmann becomes that guy. Maybe you can just have a, a couple of guys that are just gonna step up and just hey like yeah, you know I'm, I'm making Griezmann and the, play. And that's what Real Madrid hoped uh, when Ronaldo left. You would think Bale, Asensio, you you were gonna get goals from different places. Yeah. Benzema. And they still exactly, haven't found yeah. that Ronaldo. And they, they brought in Hazard. Hazard, Hazard hasn't been in. No. Yeah, Hazard. We talked about yeah, it every Hazard. weekend. Yeah. Hazard's hitting. Yeah. Yes, if he's on, he's on. He's on. He's on. <laughs> Talking about Real Madrid, Mbappe to Real Madrid this summer. Is it going to happen? What well, I've been telling you all this <laughs> months, I've been telling you the plan uh, all along. It's just falling up. Like I've it's I've becoming. More, I'll give him this. It's becoming more and more believable every day. <laughs> every day. And the thing is. I've been saying it for months. So this what? summer is Mbappé. Next summer is Haaland. And I know right now. I, I still don't think he'll go to Real, to Real Madrid. Mbappé. Yeah. Not this summer. Not this summer. I know he, I, he'll go to Madrid, but just not this point. summer. <laughs> when, uh, when does the transfer window close? September over? 1st. Okay, so it's the same yeah. across Europe now. Uh -huh. I know there was like a two-week gap last year or it something. Was, well, it's not all of Europe. Well, I think it's just a couple countries. Because I know England, well, like England August 31st. England or something, something. changed it and like did it two weeks before the league started. Yeah. And then like it was a mess because, you know, two weeks and other yeah. clubs were coming for players. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, it's still September 1st. Okay, all right. So but the, you got you got two weeks. Yeah. Well, I mean, the last couple of hours it's been strong and stronger. That rumor as of today. Yeah, where but you were out there on your website, keep on retweeting your own tweets. Man. I should have was talking to him about his dad. Yeah, was you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was you that you back. and him out in the parking lot? Yeah. <laughs> in the rain, yeah. 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 Uh, were you Were you planning on get, taking him to Chelsea? I was actually, <laughs> were you? but then I realized we have Pulisic and uh, too many players. He doesn't fit. <laughs> you can always ride the bench, right? Yeah. Or go to Tottenham. It'll be interesting to see. I don't think I, I still don't think Mbappe will end up at Madrid this summer. He will end up at Madrid at some point. 
No, uh, next summer for sure. That's when I because what he'll be the, uh, he'll be a free transfer market. Would you think he'll go in the winter? Maybe. No. How about, how about I tell you the crazy one? Tell All us right. the date. Go ahead. Mbappé next week gets announced to Real Madrid, and then Ronaldo gets announced at PSG afterwards. Okay. Is that what you're going with? That's what I told talked with Mbappé's dad today. Oh, did you? <laughs> This guy. All right, I know. Where do we find him? I man? know. Right? <laughs> so yeah, told I told you to not talk to drunks at the bar, man. <laughs> I mean, I told that would you be Me- something. Messi was going to go to PSG first. Then you was never gonna... said that. <laughs> did I not say I that thought last, last week? week. He <laughs> did. I said it last. He said he, if Messi goes to PSG. He said if Messi goes to PSG. He never Messi said will Messi. Go. Go. Yeah, you didn't say that. I'm confused. What's the difference? <laughs> What's the, the he diff- just doesn't want to. He was saying he never wants me to be right, correct, and. You know, it's going to happen. Mbappé this summer to Real Madrid. Okay. We'll this see. summer. This summer. This summer. All right. This so you're saying in the next two weeks. In the next yeah. two weeks. The all next right. two weeks. I believe next so week will be. On the be. second show from tonight, when we come back, we're all going to I'll be. No, I'm going to. You're just not going to. You can write a shirt, open my Real Madrid jacket, and say, I told yeah. you so. Yeah. With your messy PSG top on. Huh? No, that's him. PSG fan now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm a Messi fan and Did always. Did you not see his always how he smiled when I said Ronaldo to PSG? Yeah, yeah. No. He got so happy. I know. No, I was about to say, come on, bro, but like, I was holding it back. He, he I think get two I can see that happening shirts. though, but not this. I can next next year both of those players will be a free transfer. So everything, Mbappe everything and scores next summer. Holland yeah. and Mbappe. I don't know. I don't know about Holland. So but we're just I writing off this season then. No tr- yeah, more transfers. So. I don't think not that caliber of transfers. Really? But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, yeah, there is still one, and we'll move on to the Premier League. Yeah, then. look at you. It'll be, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be Kane to City. I don't know. Citizen man. Kane, my man. Which about, how, the thing that we talked about before the Manchester City Spurs game, which I was like, man, I was like, Nuno know how, knows how to play Pep Guardiola. He's uh, had some clutch wins over him with Wolves, and any time that Man City has beat Wolves, it's always been a tough game for them. Yeah. So. To that point, it's not just Nuno, right? Because uh, I was looking at some stats. City hasn't beaten us in four years. Yeah, I at, saw that too. White Hart Lane. Yeah. Right? So, you know. City always does bad against counterattack teams if they yeah. hold back. Well, I would say that. Well, that Guardiola this, teams. This was this is the time to play him if we were going to play him, right? They didn't have all the players, yeah. you know, they're not healthy. Right. So they're kind of undercooked. They don't have opinion. Kane yet. Yeah. Yeah, well, he's not going. <laughs> <laughs> he's, go- he's about to say next summer. Next summer? No, no he's going this summer. summer. Next summer. No, well, no, this summer. We've already got a bet on this. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So if he that. doesn't I go, that. that's a hundred bucks I just want. <laughs> Maybe because I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. So saying Liverpool's <laughs> going to win the league. We'll, we'll get to Liverpool here in yeah, a second, yeah. but I want to stick to Spurs and City. I mean, like the funny thing is that they say that like. Man City doesn't have a striker. I mean, they do. They have Gabriel Jesus. He did not play yeah. a single minute. How are you the only striker? I mean, can you count on him, though, on that in. caliber of a team? No, but, like, okay, but if you're, he's still a striker. Put him in for 20, 15 it's not minutes. Bad. Yeah. Like, they're making him seem but like But they didn't really have a shot, right? I mean, you know, Tanger on the right. He, yeah. He had he Grealish yeah. and Sterling both in his pocket the whole the whole game. I agree with and that. that, that even Sanchez had a good game, man. Yeah, I, I even Dyer had a good game. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought I was watching some shit from back when, you know, five, six years ago. I had to, like, make sure I didn't have yeah, it on the DVR. Yeah. Good. That's what I said. It was the time to Fernand play Fernand Torres, I don't think he's that good. He should not be yeah, starting. He that's what I said. And he's better on a wing, too. Yeah, on wing. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, Sonny, he seems to play better yeah, when Kane's man. not he in there. number nine. He, he was that's good. Yeah. That, that was my question. I've, what is he better off, coming off the wing or, or playing that striker role, that false nine? I don't know. I mean, because he doesn't really play that false nine, right? Yeah. He's always been He's on always the tracking. wing. Yeah. And him and Kane just kind of had to understand him. But yeah. to me, the games that he has played better in, he's been the main guy. Yeah. Right? So, I don't know. I don't want to get cocky. It's no. week one, right? We beat City. I mean, yeah. so, so well. I mean, yeah. but like you're off to a great start, which is important. Yeah, right? I mean, all like, the top I, four I can, teams won. I can see Spurs challenge. I don't think they'll make top four, but I think they'll be in the conversation the whole I season. I saw kind uh, of the similar style of Spurs of last year, where you know, hold it, hold back, then counterattack, where it was Sunny and Kane. But, but it makes sense because it's City, Berwigan and and yeah, Sunny. you just Lucas know Moda. you know when you're playing City that you're not going to have the most yeah. possession right? at all. You, yeah. you just need to hit them on that counter when they fuck yeah. up and lose the ball. And yeah. that's what Tottenham looks better at, right? Actually, yeah, I agree. 
Uh, but the thing is, and you last had year had, at the ten. Yeah, yeah we had last Deli year. Ali is back. He is back. He's, he trained well. But then last year we had Jose as a manager, so he played negative tactics, yeah, like, right? Against at least, Burnley. <laughs> You're at holding least, back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you mentioned, Wolves, though, they've always been a tough team to beat, yeah. right? And they played good football, too, yeah. right? So they were countering. They would they would be in there. It wasn't like they just got spanked 3-0, right? Yeah. It would be like the two ones, a rough 1-0 or right. something, right? So, you know. And credit, Steven Perl would have could have made it 2-0. That, yeah. that would have ended such the game. Such a waste of space, man. <laughs> no, he he's not. He's a bad. decent player. I don't think he's that no, bad. No, his finishing. His I'm finishing. You, yeah. his, but he, he's up top. I if mean, he was a defender, then I know I he started care, very well last yeah. year with Tottenham. He started. He, but um, he, he always that last moment. He's just man, inconsistent. He just doesn't score. Yeah, he he's does missing the end. Well, now he can just. You could say he's a Vinicius. Yeah, he scores. He's definitely got issues. He scored this weekend. As soon as you say he doesn't score, he's definitely got issues. Um. But uh, I think he, at least he can open the space or run. He's just he's a good squad player. He's a good squad player. (laughs) Yeah, he won't be a star, but he won't be a star. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Man United with a really good win as well against Leeds. Yeah, Pogba looked good. Yeah, Yeah. Bruno Fernandes looked good. They look solid. They look solid. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, they look strong. Are they gonna Um, fight for the title this year? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I think it's gonna be the two Manchester teams. Yeah, in you my, did in my say opinion, that, right? Yeah. You know, are we are we rating Ollie now? Are we? I have to say yes, bro. I don't. At know. this point, you I do mean, because out of every manager post Fergie, he's been the one that's actually transitioned the team and actually got them better. But the, with mean, good pieces, right? I mean, they've like spent everything money. That, though. Yeah, but. Mourinho he's, spent money. Still has Van Gaal w- spent money. Well, he he brought to. in Di Maria. He brought in Falcao. But, but that but was I, Van Gaal. No, I'm saying like I'm giving examples oh, of I people mean, spending a lot of money, but it like the team never gelled. This is the first team that you're like, okay, like yeah, finally, yeah. I mean, it's not like his. Granted, his first it was season. Leeds. Leeds can beat you three zero or lose five one to you. Right, right. right. I wish I did. They're right, but my point is, is though maybe Ali is kind of getting the benefit of the team being together. You know what I mean? Those players start to know each other, that sort of thing. I don't think he, tactically he's any better than what's been in there. But I think he's improved the team. Look what Moyes is doing at West Ham. You know what <laughs> I mean? I mean? He, right. But so, it, it, he also had like, a horrible season I like with Sunderland. I like put, he put um, Pogba where, where, you know, he was playing more – Higher up at the field, and yeah. it looked like France. I'm not gonna rate him. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. not gonna rate him. He, he still I, hasn't won a title. I tell you yeah. what, at, at, the, at the, the end of the season, I think everybody has won a title before. Uh, Mourinho, Van Gaal, I believe, won. No, he has Van Gaal won an FA Cup. Mourinho won, Mourinho Mourinho won, won the, the Europa Europa League, Europa League yeah. and he won the FA Cup. So too. he, he hasn't won yeah. anything. He's what third season at Manchester. Yeah. yeah, but the team has. But you would say that this squad looks competitive to fight for a title, right? Right. So this is the season to prove it. Yeah, that's if, what I'm saying. If, if in December he's not in the title race, then you, he, they need to move on. And I'll also, give him the season. But the, the, I'm sure they'll my, be in the, the title race, but yeah. remember what happened last year at the end, what well, was in November, they just fell down. They didn't make it out of the group stage in Champions League. Yeah. That could be a similar that's story true. this that's year. That's a true story. I mean, that's what it's like with the Barca this year, right? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll give him this season, right? Yeah. I, I mean... There's been nothing to me that he's done to me that makes me say, hey, he's a good manager and he's yeah. proved it, right? Well, I, I, I think, I mean, like, he's just, I think he has that potential now. Like, before I was like, bro, you guys need he's to get rid of it. Now he's got the, he's got a little bit of credit to show us what he can he's do. He's got the credit and maybe the Three confidence seasons. to go along with Chelsea it. Chelsea only has, what, six months into it? And he's yeah, but Chelsea titles? fires their coaches every 18 months, so that doesn't Manchester matter. Manchester United used to do that all the time. No, they didn't. Before, Look how far Not, not was after, 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 after him. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, and yeah, they still want titles and this guy, right? Only and that, but that's that model only works for Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you've got that money, where like yeah. that, that new manager comes like, in, Madrid, yeah, yeah. Madrid, you, you sell Lukaku million. for thirty five, and then you buy him for one fifteen. Well, Madrid. that happens with Manchester United with Pogba <laughs> too. Yeah. Madrid used to be worse before Zidane. If you only won one title, that wasn't enough. You were still gone. <laughs> I, I, it was I, worse. I, don't get I think it, Chelsea got it from. from I mean, Jada. those clubs though are like, hey, I'm firing you in January. New manager comes in. Hey, here's 400 million. Go fire you a <laughs> but new I team, think, right? And I think it's better than firing your coach before a final. Oh, trust me. No, no, no. <laughs> that to me. That to me. Yeah, I would have at least let him play the final, especially with with the beef he had in regards to winning silverware. Right, right? he would have probably pulled that off. I, I still, I, I still question that I, no, decision. Dude, trust me, I think I think Levy had COVID. <laughs> so, hold on, we're having some technical difficulty, guys. We got our production. Someone, someone typed in a question. What's the question? <laughs> 
Lee, bro, you're supposed to be no, on this, got man. a question? Oh, yeah, we so do have a question. Sorry. Him. How well do you think Sargent will do for Norwich, and will he tie down number one forward spot on the national Lee, team? Lee, my man, you're the... Sorry, dude. <laughs> I need to change. Probably went off. Oh, there we go. No, 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 because I had to hit the button. Okay, perfect. How well will Sargent do? Yeah, for Norwich. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, so let's move on to the Liverpool game, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I think Sargent could do well. I mean, Pookie isn't a striker that's going to be consistent for you, (laughs) right? You saw him when Norwich two years ago where he came off flying the first five, six games, and then he was pretty inconsistent for the rest of the season. The only thing is uh, I think – that Sargent will benefit off of Favre's uh, style of, of football because Sargent... I rate him as a manager. Yeah, I rate him, and I also rate Sargent in this team only because Sargent, if you look at his qualities, I'd say he's kind of like that Firmino guy. Like, he's going to score goals, but he's also going to work his butt off. Well, when he came in, what, he came in like 20, 25 minutes left, right? I, I mean, he came in, and you kind of saw the team kind of pick up. Yeah, he you know, had a he good— He was taking a couple of pops at goal, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he, he got a good—he got a decent shot in as well near yeah, the yeah. end when it was down like 3-0. So, you know, I, I think he'll probably start this week, right, this weekend coming up. So it'll be interesting to see. I hope he does well just for the national, men's national yeah. team. But, you know, I—, I my fear is that Norwich is just going to be in a relegation battle. Yeah, and it, and it, it kind yeah. of changes people's mentality, right? It does, it does. But he wasn't he he understands a relegation battle because he went through one l- last year. Yeah, yeah, the team he comes from is typically fighting for a relegation battle. Yeah, so. I actually have a soft spot for Norwich, so I hope they stay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. Well, speaking of Liverpool as well, I mean, uh, the team looked good. We kept a clean sheet. Van Dijk is back. Salah's yeah, looking okay. good. You know, I mean, we're missing. I don't think uh, Costa Simicas gives you the same thing that Rabo does, but I mean, he looked decent, right? And so, I mean, uh, Milner started off a little shaky, but he played that holding midfield role pretty well until Fabinho came in. Yeah, I think if we can keep that team healthy, they'll be title challenging. They'll be challenging for the title this year. Do you guys got depth this year? No. So what happens when like a Milner or somebody gets? Because I think Milner actually did pretty well, good if you in look regards at it, to being a senior. I mean, like senior. when you say depth, I'm saying like we've got three or four changes that that will do well for us, right? I mean, if we lose five or six players again, we're done. Yeah, I'm saying like say say Van Dyke's injury or he pops a damn knee again, right, or something. Mm-hmm. You know, how, well, how's Liverpool ha- gonna look in the back? We have Joe Gomez, and then we also have Nat Phillips. You know, the, the, the problem the problem back. was that last year we lost Matip, we lost Joe Gomez, and we lost Virgil. So we lost three, three defenders, and all, I mean, outside of Van Dyke, Gomez and uh, Matip were. You were playing Fabinho a lot. Exactly. Back. Yeah. I mean, and Matt Phillips shows that he can there. he can play a couple of games. If we're missing a defender for four or five weeks, he can slot right in and do a good job. What about is your goalie plays like last year? I mean, you already saw that. You need to have a solid goalkeeper. We have a team. solid goalkeeper. He's well, the best goalkeeper in the Prem. Oh, in the Prem. Oh, in the Prem. He switched, yeah. last he switched this it weekend up. Yeah. It was, no. It was, it was in, the in the group chat. <laughs> so who's it was in the, the world? world. Yeah. Who, who is it? Yeah. In the world, Ter Stegen. Then. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a screenshot of my uh, of our group chat and then post that up live real quick just to show people that we're flipping here? <laughs> Doing a little I think bit we of need politics. To record every conversation <laughs> we have, yeah. we need to record it. Yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea also looked good. One thing that I was like, in order for Chelsea to be a title contender, they need a striker. Boom, they went and got it, Lukaku. I don't know if I rate him, man, enough in the prem. Man, he in looks, the prem. He he looks scores, fitter. So. He's better on the ball now. I'm not more gonna, experience. I'm not going to say he's not looking fitter or better and, uh, you know, a more complete player. I'm just, uh, I just don't know if he can do it in the <clears> you prem. Will, you will when he scores two goals against Tottenham. I mean, <laughs> well, he's got he, Arsenal this weekend, so. Oh, well, that's an easy four. Yeah. Wow, man. <laughs> that's Drogba's favorite uh, team. Talking of, he's best friends with Drogba, yeah. so. Yeah. Well, I mean, so talking about Arsenal, I mean, you know, to Brentford, wasn't it? Then wow. it was to Brentford, yeah. 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 To zero. And then, you know, what do you, do you rate? So how long do you think Arteta's going to be? Five games. You think? I think they're going to give him to, like, Thanksgiving. I mean, he's got, he's got City and he's got Chelsea next. And plus, the thing about it, too, is. Arteta, you had all summer to show us something different. That team looked so poor. Who have they bought though? Okay, but if he's if they you bought. rate I your mean, coach, I mean, it's hard for me to stick up for Arsenal. By right? The way. No, no, no. But if they bought Ben White <laughs> for fifty million, yeah, I know you could have got somebody else for <laughs> yeah, two right? players. You know, I know. I'm not, I'm not going to disagree with. That. I just, I mean, Arsenal I agree with you whole, though. Uh, where I think November, he's done. In it's going to be November ish. Right, because I think be calling his head if they're already. Yeah, huh? well, I mean, if he goes, if he loses to Chelsea and loses to Man City, 
Then he's zero out of nine points the His first next game. Yeah, but the I next mean, six games for Arsenal, they, for Arsenal, positive for Arsenal's standpoint, I mean, they started off slow last year too, right? They were in the bottom half most of the season. Yeah, and then they still had that last yeah. that good run. Yeah, I mean, but not the, to say but that. the thing about it though is my thing is your coach at least even if you're losing, you should you should see some sort of improvement, right? Oh, like 100%. When, when we got Klopp, he took a crap team and took them to two different finals, lost both. Finished eighth, but you could tell that there was something there, right? Like, you're like, okay, like, we understand that the players he has aren't his style just yet. Give him time. Well, I think the With difference Arteta, is... With Arteta, they've given him time, and you don't see an improvement. Well, I think the difference is the players kind of bought into Klopp versus yeah. Arteta. I think he's... And they're different I think style. he's probably lost It's easier the, to the, buy... But what is, what is Arteta's identity? Like, well, what he, he wants to play... Question. Well, he, I, I think I see what he wants to play, which is... More Guardiola style, with, you know, he used to be under his wing, but the players he has, like Jorge says, sometimes they don't fit, and it's easier to buy into clubs' store um, system, work hard, you know, fast, the new football style we have. But then with Arteta, it's harder to buy into possession and. I feel like yeah. the players he has, they're younger. They don't. They're not his style. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the problem is with with Arsenal is one they don't have a leader in the team on the field, right? I mean, who who would you say is leading Arsenal out there at the tunnel where like you like you said? Yeah, you know, I feel like, like Obama Yang week. and uh, Lacazette weren't there. No, they I just, weren't this weekend. Yeah. I just don't think they have anybody that can kind of step in and say, "Hey, give me the damn ball." They have a mix of experience, game. and they have a mix of young youngsters. But I'm not I'm not sold on those guys. They man. don't have identity, and you can see Arteta in the bench, in the sidelines, frustrated because what he wants to implement is not working, and we don't see it working. We don't see what style he wants. We don't see. I don't think anybody knows what style he wants either, though. I feel like he knows, and he he says it in practice. You know, he preaches it, but. They don't buy into it. They don't. They don't. It doesn't fit well. Mm-hmm. Do you think City will have some trouble this year? S- City? Yeah. They won't win it as easy as last year. <laughs> they, it yeah. won't be done by this de- uh, December. It'll it'll be close. Probably come down to Ask the last. Ask me that games. question after the transfer market's done. Okay. Right. I yeah. mean, not Kane aside. Mm-hmm. I'm just curious to see if they pick up one or two more players. You know, I don't know who. I don't have anybody in mind that they. Well, would. I think if they if they pick up Kane, they're. They they have to be shoe in, but the thing is that the pressure is there. Like it's kind of like PSG right now. Like P, it doesn't matter if you win every cup in in France, you're gonna be judged off the Champions League, right? Because you're expected to win exactly, those leagues and exactly. their favorite city with exactly. or without city, Kane. What did they say? City's uh, city starting lineup was like 780 million. Their bench was like 450. So I mean, they have a, a billion dollars. Talk about depth. Like they have exactly. depth except the striker. I believe they're a well-oiled machine. Is what I two like teams to keep that saying. have depth, and I think that always in Premier League, especially where you have like three, four cups going on at the same time, depth is very important. And Chelsea and City have it. exactly, and yeah. I think that's going to be the difference. And why? Why is that though? You guys seem to be the rich teams, right? You got that. Yeah, sport, I mean, you got that, that owner that's willing to throw out soccer. that extra cash. Yeah, you know. Um, City, I don't know. I think that they're going to be up there for sure. You know, I, I, I think City's main focus this year is going to be uh, winning the Champions League because they're 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 craving that, right? They're yeah. they're willing to spend. I mean, that's why they brought fifty million. For. Yeah, they're yeah. going to spend two hundred fifty million on two players. Could yeah. we see a PSG Man City final? Well, I mean, we saw it. Uh, well, we saw a semi final. We saw a semi final, right? Yeah, yeah. And a couple years ago. I don't know. It's possible, man. That I think we in terms of ideal, that would be the ideal in terms of like what a spending great game powers. That would be. I think I they are the fa- the, two favorites. Yeah, to I don't make care it to the where the oil final. It, yeah, the oil final. <laughs> <laughs> don't slip now, right? But it would be. I don't care how they get there. It doesn't have to be the final, but if they play in the semifinal, somehow they got to play each other, right? To, yeah. To give us fans. That, yeah. That, that's going to be a yeah, great Yeah, but I game. think I think if PSG plays a solid Bayern, a solid Liverpool, like I feel like they would give them a game and they could probably lose. That's because, what I you was know, thinking. Yeah, like... Who, PSG or City? Uh, an optimal Liverpool can beat a PSG. You know what I'm saying? An optimal Bayern yeah, can beat a PSG. I mean, that's like the, the old saying, right? Anybody can beat anybody well, on the day. Well, yeah, 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 but, but I'm saying so like... It's right? most likely to lose any night against a good 
good team yeah than than city because yeah. city we know the style we know what exactly. they're, they're gonna win they usually lose right. by a mistake by yeah. by a away goal but PSG, well the away goal is gone now right that rule's gone i think we, we gotta double yet. check that i don't think I don't it's think done yet. just yet i thought they okay we're, we'll look it up. I mean, there's so many new rules right now, and they're being <laughs> implemented. Playing, I youth. will say, I appreciate the new rules with VAR and letting the ref actually ref the game versus having to. Go I think to that's this. the one thing that the MLS does way good. That does the really VAR. good is VAR. Oh, 100%. They go check like 10 seconds, and yeah. then you know. That's what I'm saying. If you <laughs> can't make a decision in 10 seconds, you go with what was on a the field. A new rule that I do like is the that might be implemented. I know they trying it out right now. Is once the ball stops or goes out, they stop the time. And I love that one, you know, no wasting time, like yeah. injuries and just stop the time right as soon as the ball leaves the field. Who does that? Um, they're doing it in the youth um, academies, games right, right. now, okay. practicing. That's one of the new ones that's coming out. Same, instead of um, throw-ins, kick, yeah. kick-ins. And I saw a video where it, was, it looked kick ugly. Ins? Yeah. Instead of throw-ins? Like, like futsal, pretty much. No, come on. Well, man. it looked ugly in the, what was it, like a U19 game in Italy that I saw. Where the guy kicked it to his, to himself, so right. he just kicked it to the field. Everybody right. was away, but you and he wait just for ran. Somebody <laughs> he just ran to the a, ball. That would be against yeah. the rules, though, like yeah. on a free kick. You well, can't kick they don't it know the yourself. rules yet because yeah. they just practice in the ref. Just oh, that's let them such play. a stupid rule, man. I'm Quit changing the game. Up. How about that? Well, here's here's my uh, like going back to Champions League. Right, we're going off topic a little bit, but like my hot take on PSG is that in the next six to twelve months. We're gonna see a lot of turmoil in that club, just because I believe that there's there's way too many egos in there. You've and got PSG. Ramos, you've got Neymar, you've got Mbappe, you've got the owner, and I mean under Tuchel they did good, but like he said he he said it himself he couldn't work there. You saw the rumors of Poch wanting to come out of the club. Why? Because there's just too many things going on. It's uh, I've read a couple reports that said like players don't go to the manager when they have a problem they go straight to the owner and I'm like okay like this is a lot of like it takes one small thing to break that whole thing I think and I feel like that inner turmoil is going to affect the next two years I mean, Ronaldo makes uh, it over to PSG <laughs> and it's Messi and Ronaldo Ego galore. Right? I can Jesus. just see everybody in PSG six players up and nobody <laughs> exactly. tracking ass. Or poor like Ronaldo <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. God oh man Ronaldo and Mbappe yeah, Marquinhos. Yeah, and um, it's just gonna Hakimi. be a mess, man. Be a I can mess. just see also, you know, when it comes to in the spring where you have a semifinal or quarterfinal, and R- Ramos, Neymar missing because injuries. Ramos is already injured right now. Neymar is always missing in quarterfinals, and then you have your key players missing, and then you have a huge game against City or Chelsea, and they're getting knocked out. Yeah. And uh, all, all, better win all of that man. for nothing. Yeah. I mean, Pot, if Potts doesn't I, win something if, this I year, think he's going to win League One. It's just one league year. On. <laughs> that's what they. I mean, last League year on, too. I can see, but that's the same thing. Like that, these this team should win that every year. But there's years they that they have this, in the last these issues years. because of inner turmoil that go goes on in the club. Because no other and everybody that said, every person from France said Lille won. Not because Leo's better. Sure, don't get me wrong. They had a great season, but it's because the lack of PSG playing to their potential. I can just see Pochettino. They're giving him one year with all these stars. Man, they're just. They it's similar to pretty hard to keep him. They extended his contract. They, well, they, they, uh, this is similar to the '09 Real Madrid, where they bought that summer Benzema, Arbeloa, Xavi Alonso, Ronaldo, Kaká. They only gave Pellegrini yeah. one year where he didn't win anything because that '09 Barcelona. And he was fired. Any Thank questions, God. Lee, that we have? No, we do okay. not. Cool. No, nope, I'm looking. Just keep me updated. Yeah. We got you, man. I agree with you. Yeah, so the, I agree with you as well on the egos. It's hard to handle, and you want to see how they're going to all connect. I know Neymar and Messi can connect. You Icardi would think and Messi. being professionals, they would just say, screw the egos. This this one but year, let's just go win the whole year. They did that one time. Sports. Uh, when they made the final and they talked about it, they said that everybody was like on board, yeah. saying, "Hey guys, like I know there's a lot of issues, but let's all get together." And look what happened; they made the final. If PSG could do like you know win the triple or whatever it is, yeah. well, it's France, not about right? making the final, right? The, both City it's and PSG need to got, win. They it, have to get over the line. Everything's about that yeah. Champions, that's League, Champions League. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter how you play the, the final; just win it. That that yeah. just <laughs> well, makes you true. think how hard it is for these teams like City, where Guardiola has been there for yeah. five years. And hasn't won it with all these what one but, billion? Yeah. But then Madrid won it three years in a row. Yeah. Or Tuchel won it in six months. 
Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And, and the one before in Chelsea as well. Yeah. Uh, the Portuguese, he won in yeah. six months. Di Matteo. Di Matteo. Maybe four. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I it's interesting. Know, I mean, Tottenham has never won. Oh, well, actually. <laughs> I mean, we, 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 we can we talk about you the, the, the Audi Cup. We can talk. You can't sing that, so <laughs> you just leave that on. The Conference League. <laughs> <laughs> actually, England was the first English team, right, to win the, the original UEFA Cup. Who won it? England Not Eng- Oh, England. Yeah, I mean, oh. to- uh, Tottenham did. They actually won the actual uh, back in the 60s. Okay. And then, you know. Nice. Did they have video of that, or are you just telling us? It was black and white. <laughs> no, I, I've got the po- I got the Polaroid. You have to get that thing out of the clicks. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Cool. I'll show you. A lot Last of topic I, w- I want to touch on today, and uh, it's a very interesting topic that we have. Um, so Charlotte FC, yep. we're in Charlotte. We are in Charlotte. And I want to talk a little bit about the supporters groups. You mm-hmm. know, Charlotte's been pushing out like, okay, hey, apply now. Here's your opportunity to create a supporters group. I mean, I've even seen it with Nick Kelly. He, you know, he's doing his marketing thing, like yeah, yeah. showing tweets of him at different games with different supporters groups. I'm like, okay, like I see what you're doing. You're trying to like build that hype, right? Get some ideas. Yeah, exactly. See what's going that, on. That as yeah. well. But uh, one of the things that I was looking at was uh, some of those rules from, let me see if I can pull it back up, uh, Charlotte in terms of, so the, the supporters. We kind of touched on this right on the, on the, on our show the other night, right when we yeah. started talking about it. I, here's my question, though. Here's my question, though. Yep. So here are the requirements. Yep. Right. Some of these things make sense, right? Like you must commit to establishing yourself as a legal entity. Yep. That makes sense because you can't just I give random. Why they put November first date on there, though? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I mean, that makes sense from the aspect of like you can't just give random people money without having something on the books. Right. You know, having bylaws, having a mission statement. Okay, you're going to be part of the MLS. My thing, though, is this right here must have at least 22 pledge members with season tickets in the Charlotte FC supporter section. So. Right. Is it high? Well, I mean, if you think about it, I have 22 people willing to multiply that by 550. Yeah. That's like 12 grand. Yeah. That's right. Right. It came out. Yeah. I think that and. The way I understand it, so I could be completely wrong, is so that to to be an official supporters group gets you a seat on the council. Okay. Right? Which is the the, uh, the heads of all the supporters right. group, right? So you Make come a decision. in. And then you go in and you meet, and then they d- kind of have that, yeah, like you said, make a decision on what we're going to spend in regards to flares and all that kind of stuff. Game day atmosphere, I guess, is what they're looking in. So I guess what they want is, is like, hey – why have we got, I don't know, we'll just throw Mint City out here since they're one of the biggest, right? Why is Mint City having to carry all the weight when Joe Blow over here hasn't committed? He's got five fan, He's got five people here in the supporter section, right, from his group. Right. You know, I could, that, that's the only reason I could understand that. I think the yeah, 22 number would just be because of that's when we're kicking off. But do we have enough to garnish it to be 22? I get somebody made the comment on your live saying, mm-hmm. hey, most to take a look at it, the MLS requires most MLS teams require fifty. I'm like, yeah, but those are established teams. Yeah, like, yeah right. Like if you're going to Atlanta, if you're going I'm sure to these Miami, numbers are gonna change. if you're going to places like that, that makes sense, right? Like mm-hmm. you want to start one. There's already massive ones, right? Right. But here, like no one in my mind outside of Mint City who do, does a couple things, no one has actually like f- I feel like is at the forefront, or there's not three or four that are forefronting. 20, 30, 50, 70 people that could actually say we're going to bring 22 uh, supporters. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I know, mm. obviously, Mint City's got plenty. Yeah. And, and they're not that. I think Southbound, if I, I believe they yeah. they've, they meet it, meet it. But then after that, you know, I'm not sure about 40 Thieves. I don't hear too much from them anymore. You know, hey, guys, I sent you a message out <laughs> if you want to come on the show. But, you know, like 40 yeah. Thieves hasn't been active like they yeah. were at the beginning. But it's 22... Too much, you think? I think they just picked the 22 number because we're kicking off in 2022. 20, 22 for November 1st might be too high. I did check out some Surely that as number. Well, um, some fans. And l- like you said, some of them looked active when in f- a couple months ago. And they seem to have 120 followers, 125. But they haven't been active as of late. Yeah. And I've checked out yeah, but some the, that's the other But even then, like, having a following versus having people that are committed to what you're doing, right? Like, right. I mean, but like, to me, like, okay, if you have, like, 
four, five, six, seven thousand, you'll have a good fifty to one hundred and fifty that are going to consistently come to things. You know. Yeah, but I think so. One, you don't. You just have pledge members. So to, to join a supporters group, I don't think you have to like pay a membership fee. Right, so you don't have to pay the thirty yeah. bucks a year. But your your ticket is pretty much your membership. No, no, I no, and I'm not debating that. Yeah, at all. and know, I'm kind right? of playing devil's advocate a little. No, bit. you're not going to do that again. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to take it, John. But I would think that bottom one, November first, that's got to be just something they threw in there. I don't know why they put that in there. I don't know if they're only going to accept supporters groups Might have on to do a with yearly business. basis. I mean, it had to do with the books, like you said. But it, this doesn't really affect a club. Yeah. As a club, they could give a shit, right, what this says. I mean, what date you put there. I just think either they need to drop that November 1st or is it that the club's only going to... And also, look, applications due by September 5th. That's less than a month ago. Where do you um, see that? Than, bottom are due by September 5th. That's less than Applications a month. are due by September 5th. That's like that, two that, weeks. That's two weeks. About two weeks. We're in the 18th. You see today. that right here? So, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I don't think any of us read that. <laughs> that's, that's, Yo, that's, that's what you brought me in for. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, small I, captions, always. That's it. I'm getting old. My eyes are going. <laughs> but yeah, that, see, I, so to me, going back to my original thought on November 1st, maybe the club's only doing it once a year to allow That's these. a big difference between September 5th and November 1st. But you 1st. can yeah. send in an application before November 1st, right? Yeah. I mean, if, you, if you're just thinking about it, get out there and put I mean, the, it's not like they're going to have 100 that's applications, a valid point. right? I would yeah. like to know. It's going to be five. Maybe. So I think this is what's going to happen. Once these deadlines are met, they're gonna see what they have, and they'll they'll have to readjust and this. Gonna, I do not see to. enough momentum, enough support to garner. No, because I things. mean, to be fair, there are new supporters groups. I see it. coming I see up, so. right? right? There's yeah. only like like Chicago, the last Hooligans, month or two. Carolina Hooligans, uh, Ultras, right? The Ultras. Uptown Ultra, Mid Street Mafia. Yeah, right. They're just now coming into the scene. Yeah, and so they're obviously they got to get the website, they got to get the bylaws, they got to yeah. get the logo, they got to do all this stuff that's being put up here. So this September fifth. Yeah, I would. I, I don't they're, know. They're gonna have to change that. Why put a date on when or people can become yeah, an official? Yeah, that's time, true. Yeah, right. Just scrap the dates. Just the, say here's you, the requirements. You, yeah, well, you 100%. can get that later. I mean, yeah. maybe at some point later on. But I mean, does know. the club need to Me sign off five. on something? I don't know. Right. That might be a thing. Maybe the MLS uh, requires right, them believe, to sign off. I won't on say something. the MLS. I would think the club though. Right. It has to do with something with business entity it is like because obviously well i mean yeah. legal, legal taxes else. what what what's the club <laughs> gonna pay in taxes i mean something right this is like me yeah. and you us getting together 22 yeah. friends the club don't have to pay anything yeah. right they're just saying hey we're going to recognize you as a, as a as an official group and we're going to allow you to be um at the council to make decisions for what's going on in the supporter section right that's so, my point. Awesome. So, so yeah, I think I think those are the things that'll change. Those dates have to change. They have to change. And I really think the twenty two pledge season tickets, that's gonna go down, probably to fifteen. That's what we all agree or on ten. Right now. Ten with maybe thirty to forty people actively showing up. Well, I, I, I can and see, see it, it even says at the bottom here, right? Once the initial members are there, it's just gonna be a rolling basis of news uh, of supporters groups come on depending on what the council decides. Yeah. So, you know, the way it's looking, there were only maybe what two what or three on the, by on December. The I know a lot of people, but and I know a lot of soccer fans. Yeah. And from so I think so even if, even if you start one after that, I feel like I you'll you'll be able to leverage that. Hey, I got fifty people that are coming. But they have with to have season yeah, tickets. That's the, pro- the only problem. The, it, well, you know. it doesn't matter if they got season tickets. They got to be in the supporters group section. Yeah. So I know plenty of friends, right? That they're like, right. hey, I'm getting tickets over here, or over and here. I don't want to be in the supporters section. So it's like, you may have fifty people and. You know, only ten or fifteen of them are in the supporter section. Yeah, right. Mm, nice. So, you, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's great because we're going to continue this conversation Wednesday. Right. Um, Wednesday at nine p.m. Eastern on uh, our YouTube channel, CLTFC Fan TV, for the fans, by the fans. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Damn it! <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, do that to Top Bin too. Exactly. Hit. We're on our road to a thousand. Subscribe to We've got some really me. cool things coming out. And uh, some really cool merch as well. So stay tuned. Ooh, merch. Yeah. I will say, merch. Top Ben, you're, you grind it out, dude. You do a lot of great content, man. I see you all over the place. You know, we're running with you on some yeah. of this stuff. And the grind is real, folks. If you yeah. hit the sub button from a man, that's all we ask. Here's right? my $20 for you saying that. I said 40 <laughs> So, right? But seriously. 22. <laughs> 22. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we just get 22. Yeah, that's it. Like 23.50, I only got $22. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Take right. it or leave it. 
No, but seriously, top Ben, man. I yeah. think you're doing an awesome job, brother. Appreciate you. You guys too, man. Everyone's on the grind. Jonathan as well, man. Community yeah. captain at Independence. I see you everywhere too, bro. Yeah. yeah Follow me at Jonah Cruz11 <laughs> one, one, on Instagram. Yeah. This man has some really good Instagram stories too, so <laughs> like them all. All yeah. right. Peace. Take it easy. Cheers. Bye.